Hey man, as y'all see from that title, I got a new fire video for y'all today. I'm gonna be showing and teaching y'all boys how to get semi free from Drizzy in only 10 minutes. I know you got 10 minutes. And since you clicked on this video, I know you've been thinking about getting semi free from locks. So if y'all wanna go from a baby afro like this to this, y'all boys stay tuned. First things first, we're gonna talk about the three simple things that you're gonna need for this tutorial. Number one is gonna be your sponge, y'all. This is gonna be your best friend when you're trying to get that foundation for those semi free form locks. Now let me take a step back. For y'all that don't actually know what semi free forms are, they are basically free form locks but with training wheels on. You know what I'm saying? You set up the foundation and then you let it do what it do. And that's why the sponge is so important because it's gonna give you that separation in those parts that's eventually gonna be your dreads once they grow and lock up. Now, the one tip that I can say about the sponge is make sure that y'all get some with medium holes like this. They do make some with smaller holes and they do make some with bigger holes. The reason I say medium is because with the small holes, you're gonna end up with more locks and they might look a little cool, but as it grows out, they're gonna be so thin and have a high risk of falling out. You don't want that. And then with the bigger holes, you're gonna end up with less dreads, bigger sections, like bigger clumps, so they may look like wicks. So if that's what you're looking for, that's fine. But for me, I said a medium is perfect. Also, in that number one slot, I know I said number one, but it's three things in the number one. Hey, don't worry about that. You can either have a wash towel or a brush. The reason I put all these at number one is because they all do the same thing. Some people say that they don't like the sponge, so they're gonna use it. <laughs> So they prefer using the towel. It do the same thing, same motions. The same thing go for the brush. Some people use the brush in that same circular motion to get everything going. So whichever one that y'all more comfortable with, sponge, rag, brush, whichever one work best for you. Number two on our essentials list is gonna be this mango lime locking gel, y'all. Now it's not necessary. I'm gonna be honest, it's not necessary. But hear me out though. I feel like this is gonna give me a little head start, you know what I'm saying, to help lock it up a little faster because yes, this is gonna be a process. In 10 minutes, you're gonna have a foundation, but are you gonna have locks? So to speed up that process, we're gonna use a little bit of the mango locking gel, you know what I'm saying, to hold everything together a little bit stronger like Spider-Man with the trains. That's what we're gonna do to your hair, and you're gonna get you right. Last but definitely not least, it's just gonna be your fingers, y'all, boys. All you need is your hand. I'm gonna explain that a little more later, but hey, man, y'all know what y'all need, so let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start it off. I'm gonna wet my hair a little bit. I'm not just gonna go off the dry. You can, but I do wanna add a little, you feel me? <laughs> Now that our hair is a little damp, you know what I'm saying, got a little moisture in it, we're gonna take our sponge. Now, I'm gonna be using this side first, but I am gonna use both sides. Just for demonstration, I'm gonna show y'all how the sponge works. So, take your sponge, right? And you go in circular motions. Now, a lot of people say go clockwise, but whichever way is comfortable for you. But I'm gonna just show y'all the effects of the sponge real quick. All right, y'all, so just in that little time, y'all see the difference that it made. The texture is definitely there. The little sections are coming in, but we got a lot more to go, y'all, boys. So I'm gonna be doing this for five minutes straight. I'm gonna set me a timer real quick. Y'all gonna see I'm going around my head. Like I said, you go around in circles and try to go the same way all the way around. And then a better way to get the front of your hair so you're not missing it, angle it like this. Cause usually going around your head, you like in the top view. Don't go like this, look, angle it like this so that you can get the front and that part be, you know what I'm saying, sectioned as well. I'm about to do it for five minutes. I'm gonna set my little timer and I'm gonna come back for y'all. All right, y'all, so five minutes is up, and as y'all see, look at the change, though. Like, look at all the texture we got going on, y'all, in that five minutes. The sections really came through. Let me give y'all 360 so y'all can see. This is the side. We got the back. I really like how the back look. Other side. And then we here. So yeah, y'all. So this right here is already a great foundation just to start off. But like I said, we're gonna get a little head start, y'all. So this is what we're gonna do. So that was five minutes, right? So we're gonna take a little bit of our mango lime. This is what it's looking like, right? We're gonna take just a little bit, not too much. I don't know if I can see that, but throw that in. Go just over the head like this. Get it everywhere. Make sure it's all around. Yeah, you can really go in that circular motion. Way smarter, not harder for it. Then we're going to go over it again. Now, you can't go for another five minutes, but because we already got that foundation in there, I'm going to go maybe maybe two, three, maybe two, three minutes. But I'm going to go with this other side. The only reason I'm doing this is because when I tried this the other day, I feel like this side give it more of like a out type shape. So like I said, I'm going to go for like two or three more minutes with this side, and then we'll be ready for our last and final step. Yo, that sponge a little workout, ain't it? But as y'all see, it pay off. Let me just hit it a little bit more on this side. But y'all, that simple, that quick, as y'all see, we have a great foundation for our locks. Everything is all separated. I'm sorry it's kind of hard for me to show y'all, but I'm gonna try my best. You know what I'm saying? It's so much different from when we first started with nothing. It have no texture to it. So we didn't did the sponge. We didn't add it to mango lime sponge a little bit more. But the last thing on the list, like I said, you just need your hands. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna be overtime type thing. You don't gotta do this right after you sponge. You can leave it just right here, really. But just like this, you grab a little piece and you just twirl it. You know what I'm saying? This is really gonna help really when your hair starts to grow. But like anytime you chilling, watching TV, you can just, uh, 
You know what I'm saying? You in class, you bored. Sit there, just play with your hair a little bit, and that's what's going to help you. Like, keep everything separated. All the sections, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you keep them twisted and, you know what I'm saying, in that knot. So eventually when they lock up, they already have the form. They already have the shape because you've been training your hair to stay in that, you know, little section. You don't have to grab every each and every one, but it's just a little habit that you can get into. Hey, man, that's going to wrap up the video. As y'all see, we have our semi-freeform dress set up, y'all. In a matter of 10 minutes, like I said, you have your foundation, and now you just build from there. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna keep it like this, y'all. No more combing it out. I ain't gonna do washing too often or like too soon. So what you're gonna do is every night when you go to sleep, go ahead and put on a bonnet, right? Now, if your hair is longer than mine and you can like section it up, it's better to have like your little sections, rubber band it so it can stretch out your hair. But for me, I got the little baby fro. So I'm gonna just go to sleep with the bonnet. Once I wake up in the morning, maybe hit it with a little bit of water, sponge it up again for another five minutes. And that's what I'm gonna do continuously for months on end. And y'all gonna be able to stay with me on a journey because I'm gonna post like monthly updates maybe to show y'all what's going on. So hopefully y'all enjoyed enough to stick with me and y'all can follow me along the journey and if you starting with me then we can go to the journey together because i feel like starting a journey with somebody help you out so much because you got somebody with you that's going through all the struggles that you're going through but hey man if y'all did enjoy the video or you learned something please like and comment y'all it really helped me out and i'll try to post videos every week so if y'all boys show up i'm definitely gonna be here but hey man it's been your boy key and i'm out man